what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've done like a sit down kind of video but i'm so excited to get into it today um we're actually gonna get into some makeup we're just gonna go with the flow play around i'm gonna try out some new things and yeah we're kind of gonna see where the wind takes us i just really wanted to play with some makeup today so why not <laughs> If you are new to my channel, hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Shante. It is an honor and a pleasure to have you. Please do stay subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And um, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so first things first, I just want to wipe my face um, down with some Johnson's Gentle All Over Wipes. These ones over here, because I do have like sunscreen and all of that on. This packet makes a lot of noise. Um, it's the first time I'm using these wipes. I normally just use the text ones. Hmm, they smell nice. Yeah, so I just had like sunscreen on. I was working this morning, so my face is kind of oily. It's very hot. I think it's like 32 degrees today. So yeah, there's my sunscreen. Um, I don't know if you guys know, or if you're following my Instagram, but if you're not, it is down here um yeah the sunscreen that i use is actually tinted it's a bb cream so it works well for every day especially when i don't have time to put in some makeup and then today as well we're going to be playing around with this set of brushes these are by beauty treats this is the seven piece smoky eye set um it's available from this game i think it's limited edition so it should be like gone in a long time i remember where are they now these white ones are also from beauty treats um once they were sold out from clicks um from this game they never restocked them ever and they work really well okay so we're going to kick off the entire shebang with the eyes and brows as usual um Let's use a different brow product. Ah, there we go. This is the Second Love Cosmetics Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I'm so sorry if you can hear the birds. There are birds stuck in my roof. Well, not stuck, they're living in my roof. And it's not ideal. So I feel like this would be a good video as any to kind of catch up with you guys because I feel like I haven't caught you up on what's been going on in my life since like last year i've been uploading on youtube like that hasn't changed but it's been more um actual themed videos or like the gate on vlogs that just finished which if you missed um i'll leave them down below for you guys to check out i would like to say a lot has happened even though it's in the middle of february right now so i started going back to work um the 2nd of January um so yeah so we go back pretty early because of the uh, schools so we do matric results for our newspaper um if you didn't know I'm a journalist so that's what we do so we had the whole like matric thing doing the top 10 all those stuff um, I must say though, the areas that I did cover for my trick results, holy crap, the kids are working hard, hey? Um, this one school that I covered had a 100% bachelor's pass, not just a 100% pass rate. Every single kid who goes to that school got a university entrance. So it was Cape Town one week, and then my boyfriend's birthday another week. Then it was, we went to VW Campfest. And then Valentine's Day, and this is now where we are now today. <laughs> so it's been pretty busy. And it's been nice. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to be trying out the Essence Camouflage... Camouflage? Who are you? The Essence Camouflage MAC. As you guys know, I, I have used this concealer before. This is in the shade Light Rose. As you can see, it's completely like nearing the end but i only use it for the sole purpose of being an eyeshadow base that's why it's a very light color but now i actually got a color that's more my skin tone so i'm just using this to outline my brow area okay 
Okay, I'm gonna do one eye of camera just so that I can see where this is gonna go. Then I'll be back to show you guys what I've done. Hello everyone, we are back with this look. Um, yeah, I'm gonna explain to you as I go through it, um, just so that you can better understand it. And hopefully it's not too confusing, it is step by step. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a tiny bit just so that you can have a better view of what the hell is going on. So first things first, we're gonna go in with the Camouflage Concealer in Light Rose. So I found that the best way to blend this is with a brush. And let me just stamp it over. You of course can use any primer that you want. The reason why I clean my brow with a different concealer is because I don't want it to be like super light and white on top. Um, by my brow bone because that's just that's weird so for today's palette we are going to be using let's not be shocked the james charles palette so i'm going to be going in with the deepest blue shade on a blending brush this is a color 311 blending brush i think the shade is called cola or something like that so I'm first tapping that on the outer corner and the product is not like properly distributed. It's going to disappear. This blue is one of my favorite blues. I, it's the first color I've hit pan on. The nice thing about the tapping is that it kind of does blend it out for you a little bit. I do tend to take my eyeshadows quite low on my lower lash line. This is looking hella messy, but we're going to save it. Now I'm going to go in with this brush. This is one of the new brushes. This is the Beauty Treats double two one crease blender brush so it is a crease brush but it is quite narrow on one side and i'm going to use this to go into the lovely green color tapping off now this one we are going to tap as well same thing as i said the tapping does blend it out Now I'm going to go in with a different color brush. This is a different one, trust me. I have to. So this I'm going to mix in with that blue, the cola, as well as a little bit of black. Because there isn't a darker blue. So we're going to make one. And then we're just going to intensify. And then to further blend it, I'm going to go in with one of the new brushes as well. This is just says eyeshadow, <laughs> but it could be a really nice crease brush. And I'm going into the yellow shade, not a lot. And we're just going to sweep over the edge. So because we've used quite a dark color um, on the outer V area, I'm actually going to clean up the cut crease area first. So I'm just going in with that wet wipe that we used to prep the face. And then I'm just going to cut the crease. I like to cut my crease just a little bit higher because this eye is a monolid and this one is not. So it just makes them look asymmetric. Then I'm just going to get a flat brush. Some people use a flat brush, others use a pencil brush. Whatever works for you. And then I am just going to trace that crease so for this look you want the inner corner to be the most opaque the most clean part so for the outer edge i just went in with the blue as is with no black so the inner corner is the darkest then it gets the blue then we have good the green so initially this is what i wanted to do just put the shade ring light on and then call it a day. Then I felt like it needed a little something. And then I remembered that I purchased the MAC pigment in the shade Naked. So we're going to apply that on top. The only difference is I want to make like a line. So that just brings something else to the table. And I love this pigment. I think I need to get some more. I got a mini one because I knew I was not going to get through this. All right, then I'm going to be trying out the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil Waterproof. This is in the shade Black Fever. Just to not really intensify, but just line the lower lash line. 
that looks really pretty now i don't think i want to do liner um i think let's just pop on a lash and call it a day just so that we don't disrupt this a little bit further <laughs> i'm gonna pop on the essence false lashes mascara but first i need some lashes let's pop on these china mall lashes they're quite fluttery quite fluttering i honestly think that i'm a lash hoarder now because i have a separate drawer with all my lashes in it and the drawer is full something i wanted to update you guys on is that i will be moving my beauty section um slash impromptu studio which is in this room right now it back into my bedroom where it originally was so yeah i liked this space because it was an open room that nobody was using and all that was in here was my tv which is there which i used to be in my room but i don't like having a tv in my room anymore and then we have the spare bed so that's basically all that's in this room but i used to have the most tremendous light in this room which is what i loved about it but my neighbor built a wall <laughs> literally in front of my window and it is flipping high it's about as high as my um it's about as high as the window in this room <laughs> so yeah that kind of blocked my light i mean i do get some light because like right now i'm filming and it's like two o'clock so there is some light but i have to use a ring light to balance out the lighting i think i might need to buy a new blue and maybe running out all right we are back let's get to the face i'm so excited because i'm going to be trying out a new foundation today for today's foundation we're going to be going in with the nyx can't stop won't stop everybody freaking talks about this foundation so i thought why not give it a try i purchased this from the santon city standalone store which is closing down so everything at the store was 70 percent off so i managed to grab two of these babies um for 60 bucks so that's really cool if i don't end up liking it i can give it to one of you guys so at least i didn't pay a lot for it <laughs> so i got this and i also got the can't stop won't stop foundation powder um this is in the shade walnut so i thought this could be a really pretty contour bronzy shade <sighs> really nice they didn't have my shade in powder foundation and i also don't necessarily like powder foundation i prefer loose powders so this worked out really perfectly as you guys know i love using um face powders as a bronzer so to prime i'm gonna go in with the essence redness correcting primer um since we have some red spots let's see if it works for the price point she's really good and i mean who doesn't want to use a green primer and i mean the green primer suits the look <laughs> I'm mainly focusing it on the inner corner, but it's kind of going all over. I really want to try some more primers this year. Primers and like more face products. So like more loose powders, more blushes, more bronzers. Okay, I just sprayed my face with the Bionic Babe Setting Spray. And then we're going to go in with the next Can't Stop One Step Full Coverage Foundation. This is supposed to be a matte finish finish this is in the shade beige um yeah she should be a good should be a little bit lighter but it shouldn't be too bad okay so i'm starting off with three pumps i mean it is a little bit light tiny bit but it should work um i think i'm gonna start off with a sponge just to be super sure and then we're just gonna blend the foundation something's wrong no way something is wrong mm -mm. something's wrong it looks hella patchy something is wrong i mean i've tried my fair share of foundations but no it can't be this bad I mean, I get it. Everybody has a particular style. 
But this is not even like full coverage. Mm -mm, something's wrong. Look at this. It's like it completely like crumbles away. I mean, can you guys see this? Like, look at my nose. No, this can't be the foundation you guys freaking rave about all the time. Not a chance in hell. No, I'm taking this off and we're gonna try again. 12 seconds later. We're gonna start fresh, okay? I'm gonna do my holy grail <laughs> priming routine. I'm gonna go in my the Kiki Beauty Makeup Ready Primer. Three pumps of that. This is generally my favorite with everything. This primer makes all foundations look good. Then I'm gonna go in with the Bionic Babe. And that has been my priming routine for the past maybe three, four months. Gonna go in with three pumps of foundation again. Let's start off with a little bit first. We still have quite a bit on my hand. I get it. It looks a little bit light. We've crossed that bridge already. <laughs> Let's go in with a brush just to see. This is the BH Cosmetics Kabuki brush, round top. Okay, so I think I put about one and a half pumps on my face if I had to like spitball it. And it's looking exactly how it looked before um in terms of coverage only difference is then i used all the foundation this time i only used about half second layer not looking terrible really good again i would not call this a full coverage foundation now after two layers no it's not it's a little bit stronger in terms of coverage than the maybelline fit me foundation just a tad bit so this is still a medium coverage as far as first impressions go this is working out really well i was very worried in the beginning not gonna lie okay so for concealer we're gonna go in with the camouflage concealer this is in the shade warm this is in the shade of warm toast Then for under the eyes, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. We're going to use the banana shade. I'm just going to use this to set the concealer underneath the eyes. Looking really good. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the banana um luxury powder i'm doing it really lightly because this is supposed to be a matte foundation so we're going to see how this one goes all right so for contour bronze as i said we're going to go in with the nyx can't stop learn stop i don't know why that just makes me feel sassy can't stop learn stop <laughs> This is in the shade Walnut, and I'm just going to use my normal Tula brush um, that I use to contour and bronze. Oh, this is a really pretty color, especially when it's a powder foundation. It means it's a little bit more opaque. Oh my word, it's so pigmented. Oh, I know, I've said this a million times. But it's true, okay? For blush, I'm gonna go in with the blush by Essence in Benefiting. I think I need to get like a coral brush as well. Okay, then we can spray this baby again. Then I'm gonna bring out my bougie fan. <laughs> I bought this from Clix. It was like about 150 Rand by Safeway. And you just put in batteries. You just put in batteries. You just put in batteries. <gasps> no. Oh my god. So this is my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter that I took to Cape Town. And it's completely shattered. No. <gasps> I'm so scared to open it. This is the first time I'm looking at it. <gasps> oh my god. God. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. 
This is like my favorite highlighter. Like, flippin' favorite. Like, I almost swore right now. That's how passionate I am about it. And the thing is, when I was in Cape Town, it was fine. Because I used it in Cape Town. It was on the way home. I'm just highlighting my face, guys. While I relic in my child. Oh, man, I'm so bummed out. Like, I know you can fix it. I know you can. But... <sighs> okay, then for lips, I feel like a nude would work really well. I finally got my hands on some MAC um, lip liners. I purchased a lip liner, a lipstick, um, and a brow pencil, which is going to be in a giveaway. Um, but for the pencils, I purchased the shade Night Moth, which is a beautiful purple that would work really well with my um, Harlem Lipstick by Ofra as well. And then this is the Oak one, um, which I thought would look really nice. The lip liners are so expensive. It's literally almost the price of a lipstick. But I got these when I was in Cape Town. I bought them from the cosmetics company. Um, I saw Nuzar went there and she got some like ex insane makeup for like half the price. So I actually paid a hundred rand for these lip liners. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade taupe. And that guys is the final look. I hope you do enjoy this super chitty chatty um it's not a get ready with me let's not even lie but yeah i really did enjoy actually sitting down and talking with you guys and just going through the rooms just yeah relaxing it's so soothing apart from discovering that my favorite flip and highlighter broke when i was flying home but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope you do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up it would be an honor to have you join our family we are slowly growing and it's so amazing to watch but with that being said guys i hope you have an incredible day or night for the and yeah stick around watch some more videos yeah i think you should they'll be coming like right now bye guys